Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Scars Above. We are currently scaling the side of a mountain in search of Robinson and um... Hey look there's some stuff here. We found an audio log at the end of the last episode where he was burning himself. So something tells me he may not be the most sanest of minds right now. Wait is that him? Hey, Robinson. Oh. That doesn't look right. Is he a statue? What? No, he's swaying. Commander Robinson? Kate. I've been waiting so long. But the fear. Richard. Oh my god, what the hell is this? I missed. Dodging that. Uh... Oh god! Oh god! Nope, nope, nope. Bad day, bad day. Good work, Scar. New plan. Ugh, my platform. This is not a trick. I'm dying. Ah, my, my platform. to you, Richard. Tim. Mike. I hope you're alive. The Hermes. I need to reach the crash site. Chapter 2. The Fallen. You should examine the remains. Whatever is left of Richard. See if I find anything important. That was a good boss fight. I'm glad I didn't have to do that on any sort of hard difficulty. This game... is... a little janky for my tastes in terms of controls. So any sort of difficulty is amplified. Significantly! <laughs> Thermoreactive gland? 
can be used at the MPU to create a highly flammable liquid. A highly flammable fluid that can set a hostile creature or area ablaze if hit with an incendiary projectile. It's a... it's a grenade. Hold right bumper and then throw it. Oh, it makes like a gas. Interesting. Does it use a battery power, I guess? Let's find out. It does. But any sort of AoE effect is a good thing. So I will accept it. I didn't use my shield at all. I find this swapping between items things kind of... My brain doesn't function that way. It does slow time down though, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Like, it slows time down a lot while I go through all this stuff. Go back to our normal electric gun, just in case something jumps out at us from the darkness. Even though it may expect me to use the flame gun. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. He may expect me to use the grenade. Oh, I have a I have a ability point. Um do I want to save it to get one of the the, the two points? Or do I want to wait? Oh I have to learn three abilities at tier one anyway, so I guess we'll see what we can get. Increases the battery capacity, rapid reload, load management. Getting extra healing's pretty good. Consumables cost 20% less, could be quite good in the long run, but I think I'm going to go for battery capacity. Having that one extra battery should, you know, let me use my gadgets a bit more. Assuming I remember to use the damn things. I have this horrible problem where I'm like, it's too good to use, and I just never use it. What if I need it, guys? What if I need it? <laughs> Getting between every single uh, monolith with full battery charge. Reached the grassy plains. Oh, wow, this place looks awesome. Holy hell, I thought I was going to be stuck in a bloody swamp for the whole game. No, this is awesome. Like a mushroom forest down there. Kind of reminds me of Submodica. Are you guys friendly? You've got big horns, which makes me think you probably are friendly. This used to be a beautiful place. The old world looks like this planet wasn't always hostile. There are remnants of the old world in some parts of it. The animals I found look so calm and serene. What made it change so dramatically? Oh, should we read about the alluvial kings or? Commander Robinson is dead. The signal led me to a horrible, mutated creature that attacked me. I'm not even sure if there was anything left of the man I knew inside the monster. In the distance, I could see the Hermes crash site. Tam and Mike might be alive. I must get to them. I hope that they are still human. So, not all creatures here are hostile. I wonder if the aggressive ones used to be peaceful as well. If so, what turned them? Electricity storage? What's this? Enables Vera to fire more shots. Fantastic! Magazine upgrade for the electricity. Clip sized increased by four. Is it truly a clip? Yes, yeah, so now we have 14 shots. Hey, look, here's more of these bloody pipes that we can't do anything with. I wonder how much of this is a Metroidvania. Like. The stuff we've come across in previous biomes, it's not like we can teleport back though. I doubt running back is the right answer. Maybe we unlock some sort of teleportation at some point. But we, we've come across that red door. 
we've come across those pipes. So either you do it in another playthrough, or you come back here for some reason. Some more ammo. These trees look awesome. Rest it too soon. Huh. What's this? Looks like some sort of barricade, but but we made it because more equipment from the Hermes. I must be getting closer to the crash site. Mr. Jefferson. I found more debris from the Hermes. Mr. Jefferson. Mike's doll was there. Not a good sign. He never parts from it. I must get to the crash site as soon as possible. There's one thing I quite like. The music. The music reminds me of Mass Effect. I like it. It fits the theme. But it just, it very much reminds me of Mass Effect. Here's another one of these bloody pillars. Makes me think that maybe these are the teleporters, because there's one in every area. Alright, so there's a cave going down that way. Yeah, we're going into the cave. Fantastic. <laughs> I thought there might be more than one path, but no, this there is this is very linear, which I I kind of appreciate. Linear with secrets is more my kind of thing these days. I kind of got burned out on the old everything is open world uh, that we do nowadays. Oh, a monolith. Fantastic. Flesh remains. Flesh alluvials evolve by meshing with the stone that surrounds them. They do it instinctively to protect themselves from harm. Oh dear. Back to the swamp, huh? Just a cave swamp. Fantastic. Well, the episode's still young, so let's go exploring. I'm not getting over there. Not yet, anyway. That does look like a shortcut, though. I think we're going this way. God damn it, the pillars resetting make the, the screen go crazy. It makes me jump every time. Hi. Hi. Right. So they are like the stone ones, but electric and squishy. Yes, the flesh alluvial. So, like the Alluvial King, but, uh, smaller. Unlike their stone-clad counterparts, these creatures haven't formed their Alluvial shell. They still have their flesh exposed. Which is better for me, I feel. This is disgusting, by the way. This is just, like, fleshy walls. It reminds me of that game Scorn. So Daisy. I wonder if fire works against them. It's because their flesh is exposed. I guess not, because the electricity seems to be their weakness. I was just wondering if I could use the, you know, the flame grenade. I guess I could try it. I could see how much damage it does, actually. That might be worth it. Might be worth it, because there's some coming. <laughs> Ignited multiple enemies in a sink with a single flammable charge. Fantastic. They're still coming, though. Did, it did a fair amount of damage. Not an insignificant amount of damage. They came from down there? 
Good lord, I'm lost already. Oh, hell no. Can I just destroy all that with one well placed shot? That's a hard no. Yeah, no, that, that did not help me. Oh my god, what have I done? Help. Help. I messed up. Fucked up. <laughs> There's so many of them. Okay, plan B. Oh. Hey. Hey, get back here. My plan was to lure them into the water and then shoot the water, but I guess not. Next time, we burn the pods. Ow. God damn it. Nope, not the healing injector. Oh, I want the resistance booster. There we go. Oh, this game is so less stressful when I'm playing on bloody uh, rookie, though. As, in, as embarrassing as it is for a gamer of my caliber to be forced to play it on the the lowest difficulty setting, story mode, in fact. They're still there. Oh god. That's where the grenade would have worked really well. Oh, dearie me. Not the sword. The sword was not the right choice. Oh, my. Ow. Whew. All right. That's where the grenade gets used. When there's a big group of those buggers, and I need to burn them all at the same time. Plus side, I think we got them all. Alright, was there any reason for me to come this way? Because it's looking decidedly dead-endy, which is, you know... Knowledge cube? 12%, ain't anything to be sniffed at. Cryogenic liquid? Why would I need cryogenic liquid here? I guess I could freeze the water? I guess it could just be for, you know, having ammo. Is this the way forward? Have I been bamboozled into thinking that the side the side route is the actual aggression route? Well I'm up here now, so I hear clicking. Aha, an ability point. Right. So I have the prerequisites for the next level, so do I save up and get the next level? Do I have to do that here as well? No. Melee killing blow? Hmm, that's 25% of his health, a melee strike will kill it. That's actually kind of good. Uh, ammo cap and fiber cap are increased by 50%. Hmm, that seems useful. These all cost two points though. Pulse scanner gets an attachment that can now highlight all interactive objects and resources in the area. That sounds phenomenal. Because I'm stupid and I'm not paying attention and that would like highlight things. Not that I've been using it. Where's this? Oh dear. Oh, I had the wrong gun attachment then. But I will take all of this knowledge. If only it was this easy to find knowledge in real life. You pick up a cube. Downloads directly into your uh, brain. Like the Matrix. What's in here? Housekeeping. Not much of a house, but, you know. We work with what we've got. I'm going back to Vera, because... Closer to a traditional gun. I think we're about to drop down on the other side of the uh, the bridge. 
Yeah, there it is. Do these come up on the scanner? I don't think they do. I guess that's that's what the upgrade is for. All right, can we can we lower this? We can, which should have. Oh hell no! Do you see how these move when you walk on it? Oh god no. Um, have I rested this? Let's make sure it saves. I guess recharge my batteries. Still got a bit of time left in the episode. Let's keep going. Enjoying myself. This is a, a, a rather phenomenal game. And I'd be very excited to see what the uh, the devs do next. I feel like this is one of those games where, with a little bit of polish, mostly when it comes to just the movement and stuff, it feels a bit weird. But it could be absolutely phenomenal. Kind of reminds me of Remnant of the Ashes. That's a game that I very much enjoy playing. Log entry. Recently killed. Bite wounds are approximately six inches deep. Well, what could have done this? Oh, well, I'm sure I'm about to find out. The carcass is mutilated to the point where it's hard to discern its actual shape. That's blue bug. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that's the blue bug. Some vicious beasts are roaming around these caves. Look at how cool this looks. This big open area, I sure hope something doesn't drop down or something. Uh... Don't know what it is. Gonna shoot it. Oh! Bloody hell, it's a wag. Or at least wag adjacent. Uh, ooh! Oh my god. Log entry. Overdeveloped mandible is filled with razor sharp teeth. Extremities are very strong, allowing the creature to close the distance to its prey quickly. The Feliform Ripper. With several rows of razor-sharp teeth lodged in an enormous mandible and maxilla, this fast creature can rip its opponents to shreds in a matter of seconds. Great. Dogs are just what I needed. We all know in all, like, souls-likes, uh, dogs tend to be the biggest enemy. It did drop freezing, which makes me think maybe it's weak to freezing? Well, it did freeze him. Ah, oh great, so I just got to get mauled in slow motion. Fantastic. And, oh my, oh my god. Wait, plan B. Burn in hell, you little... Bastard! Uh, run! Screw you! Got him. Good lord! I don't like fighting those. I'll get you. I'll get used to them, I guess. The grenades seem to work quite well. Is look at that? Kind of reminds me of the opening scene of Prometheus. You know, the one where he's dropping the stuff in the water. It's, kind of just, it's like that, you know. <laughs> That's a film I haven't seen in a long time. I do. I still need to go see the new, the new Alien film, Romulus. I'm quite excited for it. I quite like the Alien universe, but they do seem to make some questionable choices of recent years. Aha! I got two ability points. Let's go. Um, I'm going to go with the improved backpack, I think. Ah, oh, do I do the scanner, though? I liked in the area. Oh, flip it. Let's do it. It's probably the wrong choice. Ah, you see? 
that's not all that useful, but okay. Uh, well, I've done it now. Like, I could already see... Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I didn't see that. Ooh, okay, never mind. It's paid for itself. It's paid for itself already. Just get used to that noise, I guess. Wow. Oh, you can only do it so often, huh? Fantastic. Right. What's up here? Look at the architecture. It's so cool. The anti-gravity stone stuff is just an awesome idea. Oh. I see dead people. This was a massacre. Bite marks. They were shredded into pieces. They must have been killed by those monsters nearby. This was someone close to you, wasn't it? Save your people. Stop the custodian. This holographic technology is incredible. I think I could use it to make something useful. Some kind of distraction. A decoy, you say? Use the MPU to create a device capable to distract enemies. The device attracts and distracts enemies in the vicinity for a short time. How's it work? The hollow lure will lure them to a location. Oh. So say I wanted to kill him with that, I can go, I'm over there, and then shoot them. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, they do have different costs. I, uh, I was unaware of that. They also have different durations. Okay, well, did I pick up the knowledge that was over here? No, I didn't. There it is. <laughs> Kept scanning and seeing it and being like, I want that. Right, so, I guess we just keep going. Is, is this important? This looks important. No? Okay. I, I am a, not a fan of this bridge design. It, it's a tripping hazard. It would never pass code. Imagine trying to have a wheelchair on this thing. It'd be a nightmare. I don't like the fact it's getting dark. And this game makes me feel uneasy when nothing happens for a long period of time. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep, feeling very uneasy right about now. Yep. Definitely. I wanna go down this way? What's that? I mean that looks like the way to go, but what's down here? The crash site must be close. I hope Tam and Mike are alive. Not the way to go, huh? Hang on. Let me have some looking around here. Is this just a dead end? Okay, I think it might just be a bunch of dead ends. There might be something in said dead ends, though. My damn curiosity getting the better of me. Yeah, no, just two dead ends? Never mind. I want whatever in that crate. That's, that's for sure. Hmm. 
There is one small like, attention to detail that I quite enjoy. It's whenever we get into combat, uh, the main character kind of breathes in a way where she was in shock because she was in combat. I quite, I quite like that. Ow. Can I have whatever is in that? What is this? The thrusters burned out. Robinson must have used maximum power to avoid the crash. A part of the thruster engine housing unit. The metal barriers that normally open to suck air into the combustion chamber have been bent beyond repair. Doesn't bode well for us, does it? Guessing that this is... I don't know if this is the way to go or if there's just something up here. I saw, like, a red one in the sky. I might have to shoot that one as well. Oh no, there's definitely something up here. I guess what the red I saw was this. The current augmenter. The electricity passes through enemies, hitting everything in its path. Oh my god, that's insanely good. Vera is becoming very dangerous. I approve wholeheartedly. And I would like to try it. Ah. Uh. Please don't make me do two bosses in one episode! Uh. Ow! Piss. Oh, I wonder if I could have shot him in the front. And the electricity would have gone through him. Hmm. That's something we're going to have to try next time. Speaking of next time, I'd really like to find a monolith game. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen one for a while. What was that? Something just scurried off of that. I do like the way they use these damn trees as, like, instance points. Ah. That was a 50% knowledge upgrade? Good god. And there's another one up here. 32%? I didn't know any better. I'd say that it's, uh... I'd missed a few and it was catching me up. This seems like a way back. Okay. Worry about that just yet. The Hermes, the hull is still intact. Damn, Mike. Can I get over this? I can. Alive. Scanning to see if I can find anything. Try not to be too obnoxious with it. Because I imagine that noise would drive people insane. That's being highlighted. No monolith. But there is one of these things. The okay. I have to get some answers. Well. I get a feeling this episode's running long, I apologize. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody alive in here? More of that growth. The same as with Robinson. Where is it coming from? I can move the camera, but I can't, like, tilt the camera. Oh, oh my... God! Ah! 
log entry. Something is really wrong with Mike. I've placed him in the bio bed and I'm running tests, but his skin... His skin is changing. Commander Robinson still hasn't returned. What did they encounter outside? Ah. Uh. I can get my gun out. Hmm. This doesn't fill me with as much confidence as you'd think. Mike? Mike? What happened? Oh, look, where is Commander Robinson? No, no, no. Mike! I'll get you to the lab. Hang on. It'll be okay. Can't open it without a key card. Can I use Mike's doll? No. Need a key card, huh? Okay, well. What are the odds it's through that way? Scar jacket? One of our jackets. I'm taking it. Wait, didn't I just cure my toxicity? Why is it going up again? Oh, did I? I stood in the poison, didn't I? Because I'm a smart man. Can I wear said jacket? Oops. I, I feel like it might be good. <laughs> you know, it could be cold. It could be a bit chilly. Cutter, which we already have. Damage increase? Hey, never say no. Enables the severe slice ability. Huh. If it can cut through plasteel bulkheads, it can cut through anything. Yeah, I think I, I can hold it down now. I guess I only get one every now and again. Um. Do I use this to cut through the door? Ah. Enter code? Oh crap. Uh The only thing I didn't look at in here was this. What is this metahedron? Why did it bring us here? That didn't help. Okay. Um Enter code. Can I see a code through the door window? Any sort of bypassing of said code? Beep. Alright. Okay, hang on. If I was a code, where would I be? Oh, I didn't look at this. An improvised power source. Looks like Tam's handiwork. Draw here as well. Ah, another key card. Graduation day. Feels like it happened in another lifetime. Oh, zero six two zero oh, ten. Fantastic. For a second there, I was worried. The blood sample seems to be contaminated by nanite units. They're manipulating his cellular structure. Does this mean that the mutations are artificially induced? Must be Mike's blood sample. Hmm. Computer. 
Mike and Robinson went out to scout the area. I'm trying to repair the ship's scanning system. Without it, we're blind as to what's happening around us. Medical log. Mike's situation has become dramatically worse. The tumors on his body are now expanding at an exponential rate and spreading all over the lab. I have no way of curing him. I isolated a single nanite unit. This construction is far too complex. However, I discovered it is constantly receiving a binary transmission. It looks like an instruction set. My hypothesis is that these nanites are controlled from the central source. If I'm able to find it, maybe I can instruct them to reverse the process. Okay, and then text log two. Only Mike returned. He's in bad shape and can't give me a straight answer. I've tried all known antibiotics, but his condition is only deteriorating. I suspect the nanites in his blood are responsible for this. They're changing his cells. Mike is getting more aggressive at times. I'll have to keep the lab locked. Tim recorded the coordinates to the computer. Oh. What is up there? This must be what happened to Richard, too. Mike, what has this place done to you? The bloodstream is full of foreign bodies consisting of an unknown alloy. It's a problem. What else am I scanning here? Uh, no, I feel like I should be scanning like the tumor in his brain or this ah There's this tumor. A wound in the upper torso, triangular in shape. It looks like it was made by a solid thorn-like projectile. He was darted. Oh, is it the panel? Medical log. Patient's body is covered by abnormal cancerous growth. Temp 39.8 degrees Celsius. Pressure highly irregular, 190 by 120. Heart rate, 136. Pupils highly dilated. Inducting 120 cc's of protein synthesizer in hopes of lowering the body temperature and normalizing the pressure. Commencing diagnosis. Tamara was taking blood samples for analysis. Reconstruct. Tam was analyzing Mike's blood and discovered that it's contaminated with unknown nanite machines. The nanite machines seem to be altering Mike's body, which means his condition is artificially induced. Tamara managed to isolate a single nanite unit and discovered a transmission that seems to be remotely controlling its operation. She went off to find it in hopes of reversing the process. I have to follow these coordinates. It's the only way to help both Tam and Mike. Hmm. Okay, what's left of Scar? The Hermes is enwrapped in the same growth I saw in Robinson's shelter. I found Mike inside the lab. He's in a coma. His life signs are stable for now, but I have no idea what's wrong with him. The growth seems to be coming out of his body. Tamara was gone, but I retraced her steps and found she was trying to cure Mike. She found small particles in his blood that would be that were remotely controlled by a signal. At some point, Tamara decided to investigate the origin of the signal and left the coordinates on her tablet. I must find her. These coordinates are my only hope. All right. I guess we leave, huh? It's getting cold here. I should put on my jacket. Yes, you should. Why did why didn't we put it on when we when we picked it up? Good lord. Hey, look, we got a jacket. Did it save? Can I is this a good place for me to end this or should I keep going till we find a Ah, uh, I don't want to miss something by not saving properly. So we're gonna keep going. Also, it's an awesome jacket. 
First monolith we see. That that that's where we'll end the episode. Okay. Hey, is that a monolith right there? Fantastic. All right. So right at the start of chapter three. So in the next episode, we'll carry on into chapter three. I'm going to thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>